Hey guys, I'm Mike Burns for Severn Windsurfing North America, and I am here with the Severn Enigma Boom. And I have been waiting for this bad boy for a very, very long time, years. So uh, it's just been real popular, and everybody that's tried it loves it. So when a boom comes into North America, it usually goes out. And we're trying to keep a much higher stock level of these now because we understand that they are in demand. This is the tailpiece of the Enigma Wave Boom. So it's a loop and go system. You stick the loop right up through the clue, right up through the grommet, and then around this little top piece. And then you outhaul. Easy as that. You don't have to do any threading with the line or anything like that. So nice and easy, gets you on the water faster. So now let's move down from this nice loop and go tailpiece to the full carbon back end of the boom. And it has these nice numbered system on the tailpiece. Um, it, it's the actual measurements from the front of the boom. So it says 150, it says 148. And that'll just, when it's windy out and you're frantically rigging to get the get on the water before that cold front comes in, um, you might do the math wrong, even though it's real easy. Um, but yeah, it says 148, you know, 150. You just look at your out hole and your sail, get the marking, match the number over here, set the pins, and you'll be good to go. So this is a really narrow grip. Um, you, you'll really appreciate it once you use it. If you're used to the, the fat grips, your arms get tired more, faster. Um, it also, it's funny because, I mean, the booms are really light, but it also makes, when they have a narrower grip with the lighter boom, it makes it feel that much lighter and that much more connected. And this grip does carry all the way back to the tailpiece, um, to those clips. So if you're into freestyle or you like to do some duck jibes, on these wave booms, it goes all the way back and you can, you know, you can duck the sail and grab really far back on the boom and not have to worry about sliding off because some carbon is showing or something like that. Going forward a little bit more, it does have some markings for your harness line. So, um, for instance, I know I was on my 4.8 last and with the Freaks, it doesn't move that far, but I know when it's right on the three for this front line, that's where I put it for my 4.8. So I know I was on the 4.8 last with this guy. Um, let's go a little further. The booms are really nice and stiff, and the connection to the rig is amazing, and, and just the, the, feel, the feedback you get from what the rig is doing makes all the difference in the world. Um, whether you're going straight or you're blasting, you just can react that much faster to your rig. And now moving on to the last piece of the puzzle with the Severn Enigma Boom is the lockjaw front end. And the lockjaw front end on these smaller wave booms like I have is RDM specific. On the bigger booms, you have an SDM front end that can hold both SDM and RDM mass. So that SDM front end will work on both SDM and RDM masts. So, and the, and the heads are interchangeable. There's a couple bolts you undo. You can put an SDM head on here. Um, why go with this RDM head if the SDM works on both? Well, the RDM head, if you're using skinny masks, will give you the best connection possible. So that term fits like a glove should be fits like a lock jaw because the first time you lock this lock jaw down on a skinny mast, you will see just how tight that connection is. And then the first time you get this boom on the water, with your skinny mast and your wave kit or your freestyle kit or your small uh, bump and jump kit, um, you'll feel that connection. And you'll feel how stiff the boom is and how light everything feels. And uh, there's really no comparison to a connected, put together rig where there's just there's no wiggle. You know, everything just feels that much better. So that is the Severn Enigma Boom. So I'm sure you guys will be as impressed with it as I was when I finally got it after all these years. And um, if you're in Hatteras, hopefully I'll see you guys at the beach or on the water. I know it's gonna be windy. So happy sailing, guys.